Hello my friends and welcome back to an episode. In today's episode we're going to be talking about how to study for physiology in medical school. It's really simple. I think there's no need to talk why physiology is very important but briefly speaking if you don't get what's normal in the body everything else in medicine is going to be really hard. So try to keep the time this topic requires. If you're watching a video on your free time it means you're really in a good way so congratulations. Anyways so this video is going to be divided in two parts. It's going to be the approach, how I want you to tackle this bad boy, and then the resources. Also, if you watch the whole video, by the end of the video, I have a gift for you. So make sure to watch everything. Let's begin. The approach to study for physiology is this one. It's really simple. I really want you to just get a general idea, and here I'm going to encourage you to watch videos, and I don't want you to go too much into details. I only want you to know more or less how it works. Once you have the general idea, I want you to to move to the second part, which is going to be really getting it. How do you do that? Usually by reading a textbook. Why not go straight to that textbook? In my personal opinion, I have found that when I have a general idea of how something works, and then I read a chapter which talks very much into detail about that, it's way more simple for me to make sense of it. Then, memorize it. Use Anki. If you, have, if you don't know how to use Anki, I have here a video on how to use Anki and also about memorization. I have a video on how to study as a professional. I really encourage you to, to watch that one. And then lastly, I want you to practice what you have memorized and what you have understood. So now you need the resources. What are going to be the resources? Well, for the videos or the general idea, I encourage you to use Osmosis or Ninja Nerd. Guess what? I'm a Ninja Nerd fan. <laughs> Anyways, so Osmosis, Ninja Nerd, or any video of your choice. Like sure, it's really good, but it's not free. Anyways, once you have watched these videos, I want you to read textbook. Which textbook? In medicine, physiology, there's so many options, but more, it's not better. So there's only two books you need. You need Physiology by Linda Constanzo and Physiology by Arthur Guyton. Arthur Guyton's a big boy. It's going to take you like two hours to read a chapter, but it's going to grab you by the hand and guide you like a baby. Really chill, really, really nice, you know? You're really going to get after that. Then, once you're done with that one, you can go and skim through real fast through the book of Linda Constanzo. Why first Arthur and then Linda? In my opinion, Arthur explains way better than Linda, but Linda offers sometimes more information than Arthur, and she offers question banks at the end of the chapter, so it's amazing. Anyways, so you already have the videos, you already have the textbooks, now you need how to memorize it. Memorize it, I mentioned, use Anki. Lastly, you have to practice it. Osmosis offers free question banks. Well, not free, but if you watch this video, you're going to learn how to use it for free. Also, you can use pass test, they offer a one month free trial, or any choice of yours. Also, of course, use Linda Constanzo. So if, if for example, if you, learn, if you are learning about the cardiovascular system, go to the cardiovascular system of Linda Constanzo, go to the last page and you're going to select 20 questions. Try to answer them and if you really got it, congratulations. And if you got half of them wrong, it means you need to understand it better. So reread it. And that's basically it. If you watch all the way onto the end of the video, congratulations to you, I have a gift. If you like the video and you text me on Instagram, I will and tell me that this is the video you watch. I'm going to send you both the textbooks in PDF for free. I'm going to send you Physiology by Linda Constanzo and Physiology by Arthur Guyton. So guys, without further ado, see you next week's episode.